Hey, this is Jira from Support Carry Zillion, and today we're gonna go over the Zillion build that uses Stoneborn Pact and Ardent Sensor, which we're going to use to power up our auto attack base teammates. Why are we taking Stoneborn Pact on Zillion? Isn't that move for tanks? So, Stoneborn Pact is easily triggered by champions with loads of crowd control, such as Zillion. The real power of Stoneborn Pact comes from the triggering of Ardent Sensor. So basically, you'll have a constant healing buff on teammates from Stoneborn Pact, which will trigger Ardent Sensor, providing even more healing and attack speed. So this sounds really broken, but is it? So before we go any further, I have a short disclaimer. This build is not for every game. This build thrives under optimal conditions and is underwhelming in others. So first off, you only want to choose Stoneborn Pact when you have two or more auto attack based champions in your game. Stoneborn Pact only triggers off of auto attacks, and the buff from Ardent Sensor benefits champions who use auto attacks, so there are a lot of compositions which don't get any value out of this. Second, you want to make sure that you don't have a tank on your team who is also taking Stoneborn Pact. The person with the higher HP will have the priority on the buff, which means that your Ardent Sensor will not proc off of their buff. Finally, if you thirst for instant gratification, this build is not for you. There are no big healing numbers to be seen. If you feel like you haven't done any healing with this build, you need to look at the post-game statistics. It's really surprising. So now that we've got all the bad news out of the way, let's get into the build. As for masteries, you're going to want to go 0, 12, and 18, taking Meditation and Stoneborn Pack. The other choices there are your preference, but this page below is what I've had the most success with. As for runes, I tend to take Magic Penetration Reds, Health Yellows, Ability Power Blues, 2 Armor Quints, and a single AP Quint. You can also take Defensive Runes and just go without any AP and just stack Health, Armor, and Magic Resist. For this build, the runes don't really matter that much, so just take something you're comfortable with. As far as skill order goes, this one's a little bit strange. First off, you're only going to want to take 3 points in Time Bomb per lane. Once you hit 7, you're going to want to max Time Warp. Once that's maxed, then you're going to want to max Rewind, your ultimate, and at 17 and 18 you take your final 2 points in the Time Bomb. You want 3 points early so you have a Rast damage in lane, but you also get the Oppressive Slow going into the mid game by maxing Time Warp. So for items, you're going to want to start Ancient Coin, and on your first back, try to buy a Tier of the Goddess. Once that's done, you want to finish up your Sidestone, and then quickly upgrade it to Eye of the Oasis. Next, you want to finish your CDR boots, and then build Ardent Sensor as your first core item. Once that's built, you're going to pick up Redemption, and then finish off the build with either Locket of the Iron Solari or Mikhail's Crucible, depending on how much CC is on the enemy team. So that's it! Now let's watch some laning gameplay, and then move on to some of the group fights. One of the biggest laning fundamentals for this is that you want to save your spells in order to create crowd control chains, which leads to a higher uptime of Stormer Impact, and easier ways to get kills. Teammates can have multiple instances of Stoneborn packed on at the same time, which is why in this clip Rengar was healing for plus 7 instead of just plus 2. With this build, you get the most out of casting your slow first and then landing the double bomb. This is a very consistent way to trigger Stoneborn pack as well as help you master your double bomb timing. Now let's move on and see the Ardent Sensor in action. In this fight, I start the initiation with a slow into a double bomb, which will trigger Stoneborn Pact. You can tell when someone has triggered the Ardent Sensor because their hands will glow red, and you'll see purple numbers where the damage would appear. And here's a nice Flash Zillion combo for you two. And we'll just go ahead and end this video with a nice, fun ace, and you'll see why this is kind of special for someone.
And there you have it. That's the Stoneborn Pack Zillion Guide for you. If you'd like more information on these guides or any other support Zillion builds, you can check out www.supportcarryzillion.com. Until next time, take care.